I bet you didn't know there's 10 facts about Ronaldo. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So good to have you here. Thanks for tuning in. And today I've got a bit of a fun one. I've compiled a list of 10 facts about Ronaldo that I myself didn't even know. And I'm hoping you guys didn't know as well. So we can go through these together and we can talk about the what some people say is the GOAT. It's up for debate for me. But he's recently obviously signed for Man United. He's back at his boyhood club and I think it is such a cool move. But the first fact is around that club actually. It's based on his number 7 jersey. So Ronaldo could have been CR28 because that was his number he wore at the time of signing for Manchester United. But it was Sir Alex Ferguson, the legend, he convinced Ronaldo that he had to wear number 7. Of course this game was some massive pressure at the time with big players such as Beckham, Cantona and even George Best wore the number 7 before Ronaldo so it's a massive shoes for him to fill but of course we all know he went on and filled them. There was only one time from this point onwards where he wore a number different to the number 7 and this was when he first signed for Real Madrid. He wore the number 9 because Raul the club legend was wearing the number 7 but of course he left a year later so Ronaldo got back to having his number 7 there as well. This leads us straight into the number debacle that he's having at the moment signing for Manchester United. Obviously he wants his number 7 but Cavani currently has it. So I find the situation so interesting and what I believe to have happened is that Manchester United have literally sold another player to free up Ronaldo's number for him. So Manchester United have sold Dan James who wears number 21. They've sold him to Leeds so that Cavani can then take his Uruguay number which is number 21 freeing up number 7 for Ronaldo. It's a wild theory but there is actually some reasons behind it and it is because the FA states that the player cannot change the shirt number once the season has started unless a player leaves and vacates that number it's a big mess but I think it's the right thing to do I want to see Ronaldo wearing his number seven it would be wrong to see him in anything else Ronaldo wasn't always the perfect pretty boy we know now he was actually expelled from high school at the age of 14 this was because he threw a chair at a teacher now there's a couple of reasons that people have said for him to do this one of them is that the teacher mocked his family's financial situation we know the story about how he came from rags to riches another one was that at the new school a teacher mocked his accent and this got him so angry he then threw the chair at the teacher both is not really the right thing to do but apparently he got home and his mother wasn't even too mad at that point she already knew that football was his future so she was almost happy that he could focus 100% on that which is mind-boggling if I threw a chair at a teacher when I was 14 and got expelled uh, my parents would not have been happy about that Ronaldo used to make bets with Sir Alex Ferguson about how many goals he would score in a season now this is a relatively common one for a lot of players I know back when I was way younger I'm talking under 12s and I was playing up top I used to have bets with my coach each year and he said once that if I scored over 30 goals in a season he'd give me 30 bucks I did it don't worry about that he gave me the 30 bucks I told my mom and dad and they said no nah, go turn around and go give it back to him so I actually gave him the 30 bucks back but that season was probably my high scoring season I ever had I think I scored 34 goals in it and I hold on to that story to today so it worked for me so I understand it works for Ronaldo simple effect to use if you're a coach as well you can think about doing this with your players it can be playful it can be fun bets but yeah I rate that one super quick one this one Ronaldo was named after former president Ronald Reagan now Ronald Reagan was the 40th president of the United States it was said he was Ronaldo's dad's favorite actor before he became the president so that's where his name comes from so this next one is Ronaldo breaking the mold we see so many professional footballers covered in tattoos sleeves body even Messi is covered in tattoos almost head to toe but Ronaldo breaks this mold and doesn't have any now a lot of people say this is because Ronaldo donates blood super often and if he was to have any tattoos it would stop this process for up to six months or more of him being able to donate blood. Another cool part to this is CR7 once donated his bone marrow to help his teammate Carlos Merton's son. The three-year-old boy had been diagnosed with a rare blood disorder so Ronaldo took it upon himself and donated his bone marrow to this child. That's an amazing story in itself. Now here is one that a lot of people might know or think they know about but not really know the details of. But Ronaldo refuses to drink alcohol. This is because his father passed away when he was just 20 years old with issues relating to alcoholism. Ronaldo is concerned that this is hereditary and he doesn't want to follow in his father's footsteps. But he's taking this one step further and he doesn't even drink sodas or any fizzy drinks or any drinks with sugar in it at all. And we've seen this the viral clip from the Euros where Ronaldo picks up the Coke bottles, moves them and says no Coke, aqua. That is one of my favourite clips I think that came out of the Euros and it's such a good message to a lot of young kids. It's also said that he 
who doesn't even let his son drink fizzy drinks either, Ronaldo Jr. So he's going to be following in Ronaldo's footsteps and turning out like an absolute ripped athlete. The next one's a bit more of an uncommon one to the point where I actually struggled to find much information about it at all anywhere on the internet. But it is said that he underwent a major heart surgery at just the age of 15 due to a racing heartbeat. Apparently it is said that if Ronaldo hadn't had the surgery he would have never been able to become a footballer or even perform anywhere near to the extent that he does today. It is also said that Ronaldo had the surgery in the morning, he was up by the afternoon and he was training already playing football again in the days after like the absolute machine he is. The last one is probably my favourite one and I don't know if it's as much a fact as a cool story and it's a cool story about friendship so I'm going to read it a bit more this one. Ronaldo was best friends with his teammate Albert Fanchura. Their coach told him that whoever got the most goals in a particular game would win a scholarship to Lisbon's prestigious football academy. Now the two of them were neck and neck on goals and Fanchura had a chance to score. Instead he passed the ball to Ronaldo who then scored literally giving up the chance of a lifetime. For these boys at this age this was a massive deal. He later explained that he did this because he knew Ronaldo was the better footballer. This is crazy to me. It's such a cool story and Ronaldo has never forgotten the sacrifice and he once gifted him a house, a card and money as a thank you for simply passing him the ball to give him the opportunity to become who he is today. I can't imagine if Ronaldo hadn't scored that goal, hadn't gone to the academy, we would be missing one of the greatest footballers of all time. We wouldn't have even got to see him step out on a football pitch. So really we all have Albert Ventura to thank for Ronaldo. I think that's what it boils down to. But that is my list of amazing Ronaldo facts and I just sort of got sucked into this creating other videos on my TikTok and things like that that were shorter format but I really got stuck in there's so much about Ronaldo out there that not many people know about which is crazy considering how much of a big deal he is but you might have noticed I only said nine facts and I said that there was going to be 10 in the title of the video but I've left the space for one more and I want you to let me know one that I might have missed or that you know that I don't Future Tom here, I'm currently just editing this video. The day after I recorded this, there was actually a new fact about Ronaldo that came out. That the Queen has asked for his first signed Manchester United jersey. That is ridiculous. So the Queen is the first ever time she's asked for a signature and it is of Ronaldo's. That's my 10th fact, but if you've got more, drop it in the comments, engage in there. I'll start chatting back to you because I want to know more about this guy. And I feel like there is definitely more to know as well. But apart from that, thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, like I've said before, I'm just starting out on my journey over on this channel. Been doing that for ages elsewhere but here it's a new one so any liking subscribing and commenting i really appreciate it it helps me out and we're going places so thank you so much for being here thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one